Okay, we've talked a little bit about the chords you would use uh, in playing a blues piece. Now we're going to talk about the scale you might use initially when you are improvising over a blues piece. And we would use what's called a blues scale. And in this case, the B-flat blues scale sounds like this. Okay, the notes I just played are the notes for a B-flat blues scale. And you'll notice we started on B-flat. We played the minor third of the B-flat scale, which is D-flat. We played the fourth note of the scale is E-flat. We played a flat five, which is F-flat. Yes, on the keyboard it looks like I'm playing the E key, because I am, but it's still, in theory, we're gonna call it the flat five, so it's F-flat. Then the fifth of the scale, which is F, a flat seven, which is the A-flat, and that brings us back to the B-flat. Now, if you use that pattern, one, flat three, four, flat five, five, flat seven, and one again, or eight. Starting on any key, you can play a blues scale in any key. But in this case, blues, the blues and B flat scale are those pitches. Now, in the piece blues by five, we can use those notes in any combination to play an improvised solo over the chord changes of blues by five. So take a listen to this. I've got an accompaniment track that we're gonna play with that. And uh, I'll play a solo for you just using the blues scale. encourage you to experiment with that and the neat thing about the blues scale is really there's not a wrong note. You can use any of those notes in any combination when you're playing a blues piece and you can solo over it and, and feel pretty confident about it. Now we're not going to always do that when we're playing blues pieces but that's a great place to start so I'd encourage you to, to experiment with improvising using the blues scale on blues by five. 